Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to overclock your Samsung Galaxy S3 on the Android 4.4.4 KitKat to 1.7 GHz for CPU and 700 MHz for the GPU. Now these are the monster clock speed that we get, uh, our clock speed we, we can get with this Weeflock kernel. Now I've done a full review of this Weeflock kernel, you can check out my channel. Now basically, uh, you can install this DN4 ROM, which is amazing, and it comes with the KitKat 4.4.4. It is a touches based ROM, and it sports the Buiflock kernel, and you can install this ROM. I have a full tutorial available on my channel. I've made a playlist. You can check out my channel for that also, and if you want to check out the uh, kernel review, you can also check that out. And so this video is only about how to overclock the GPU and the CPU. It's not about the full review of the kernel. So I'm just going to show you that. So first of all, uh, you need to go here into the Briefload Kernel Configuration Version 2 app. And when you open it up, you will see some basic information of your device. You have to go here into the CPU menu to overclock your uh, CPU frequency. Now I'm going to overclock it all the way up to 1.704 megahertz or 1.7 gigahertz simply and I'm gonna overclock the GPU I'm going to show you the, some of the best uh, options for the GPU so you can have the better gaming and all that so 200 megahertz it's good 265 and then a jump to 400 and maybe I'd say 350 yes that's good 440 uh, no let's see we can go here up to 700 megahertz and then go here to the 533, then go here up to 440, then go here to 350, then go here to 200. That's that's good. So I'm going to risk here to see how, if the device will going to be stable or not. So I'm using a DN4 ROM. I'm not sure if you are on any other based, uh, lot of, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, KitKat based ROM. Uh, I'm not sure about that, so I'm using the DN4 ROM. You should also use this ROM that comes pre-installed with the kernel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here, simply press the home key, and now I'm going to reboot my Samsung Galaxy S3 so that it will going to apply the settings. Now click OK. I'm going to wait what will happen. So if the device passes this test, uh, then it means that it is stable and then I'm good to go uh, and I will be uh, doing some uh, other tests like gaming and benchmarks so be sure to subscribe for that and stay tuned so let's see if we have if the device boots up or it might be uh, might become soft break or anything can happen let's see so of course this is GDI 9300 do not try it on the i9 305 or whatever other variant name is but do not try it on any other uh, Galaxy S3 just try it on the i9300 which is the international Exynos Galaxy S3 so let's see here this also has one gigabyte of RAM not two gigabytes so whoa so we are on here baby let's see okay very smooth here smoother than before I can feel the power coming out of the phone just kidding let's check out the briefly kernel here or oh oops oh no 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 Oops, you can see the device was actually um, stuck there. Uh, basically, back in my days, I done a lot of crazy stuff with Sia Kernel when I first bought this uh, phone, like when it was the top dog. Uh, I done some overclocking using the Sia Kernel, and I faced this, you know, whenever your device stuck, it was going to reboot, and the settings are going to be uh, on the default again. Uh, so you can see that 1.7 gigahertz CPU speed and the 700 megahertz GPU speed is not uh, stable so let's see let's give it a minute to settle down here completely okay so let's open up this with the kernel config app here 
and see if we are actually running that speed or not yes we are actually on 1.7 gigahertz it sometimes become unstable or sometimes has some problem but this is 1.7 gigahertz people you can see that let's zoom in again this is 1.7 gigahertz and then GPU oh running at 700 megahertz so the test has paused of course you can see we can get some random stuck up but you can see it's now smooth and now the settings are fully applied the Galaxy 3 is now running at 1.7 gigahertz with the graphics on the 700 megahertz so I'll be doing some benchmarks and some gaming tests and see uh, what will happen if we try to play games and doing benchmark if it's going to be stable uh, or you know what will happen if um, if the S3 explodes or whatever so we will check it out so uh, if you are interested in that video uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and do comment on below uh, if I should make that video or not because I have a lot a lot of devices to work on the Note 4, the S5 ton of devices I have but if you want these uh, videos more videos for this S3 overclocked S3 1.7 gigahertz then I will make that video for you guys so until then, I'll see you next one. Peace out.